Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for another iRacing video and today we've got a bit of a long slog um, it's a six race absolute special event going on if you remember earlier on in the season I briefly mentioned in passing how it'd be nice to get to uh, two 2k i rating before the end of the season well the season finished on uh, on Monday two days ago so this was my last gasp attempt we jumped into the skippy and uh, because the races are every hour just every hour just kept on doing the races just to see if we could get there before the end of the day before the end of the season so Let's jump on in, enjoy. All right, here we go in the skippies then. Absolutely ages since we're in this car. I literally can't remember the last time we were. Pretty unprepared for this race and pretty slow and off the pace. Uh, but yeah, let's see how we get on. Just realized my double clutch is still set, so I couldn't, couldn't rev it up. Anyway, here we go. Lights out and away we go, getting mobbed from behind. As a guy decided not to accelerate off the line, that's super helpful. Uh, <laughs> Mark having a bad time off the line. You got it, play car on the right. You got oh, it's skippy carnage. Right. It's absolute skippy carnage. Didn't expect anything different. Alright, and miraculously after all that we have survived the first couple of corners. Still got to uh, take account of our cold tyres and our own you wobbly car. Sounds like another one's gone by, gone round. All right, we're still alive. It's going well. Go all the way to first, just to try and uh, get it slowed down. Yeah, Oh, this guy's breaking really early. Oh, there's more carnage ahead. All right, still in one piece. Mark behind us, now that he has got it off the line, is uh, looking pretty racy behind us there. Didn't even go to make a send just there, but he's, <laughs> he's great so early. Bit of leaving room, especially going into the hairpin here. Still not really got the line through the hairpin sorted in this car. Seems to be a little bit different every time, and the uh, the Delta doesn't seem to know what it's doing each time. All I know is somehow I set a fastest uh, a fastest sector through there, and then every other time afterwards, no matter what I do, I'm slower. <laughs> Top ten then after the first lap, just going to play it nice and steady. Still, still pretty cold setup. I uh, I messed around with the setup just before qualifying and ended up spinning on both my hot laps, so that's why I qualified so low down the grid. Not ideal. It's taken me a while this week to get used to uh, sort of a decent gearing setup. Every other time I've driven this car, um, I've been on a stick sequential just next to me here, heel and towing. But I'm literally like, just like within the Mazda, I'm like a second and a half off the pace when I do that. And I want to be competitive, you know, that rating's Getting close towards that 2k that we said we wanted. Don't want to be throwing results away just for the sake of shifting in sort of the, the proper realistic way. Make another pass, complete accident. Little bit of oversteer there. Use the slow car as a bit of a pick to stop anyone else getting past. To go into the world's most stupid corner. Once again. Looks like that back marker caused absolute chaos for everyone behind. Alright, and into sixth place we are then. So, uh, only two splits at the minute in this uh, time slot. We are in the upper of those, obviously, uh, you can see there. Strength field's only 1.6, so still a pretty low split. Nonetheless, it's nice to be running up towards the front here when I was expecting to be really slow off the pace. As the car starts to warm up now, we'll uh, start to be able to see what we can actually do pace-wise. The first time I think that we've actually run with a tow from someone every time in practice. We've been all by ourselves. All lonely. I know I ran this uh, car track combination last season. I think it was the very last race last season again uh, then. Just like it is now. 
And in that week I got a fastest personal best of 33.2. Well, I can't even get close to my own personal best in practice now, so... Um, I'm not sure where the pace has gone or if it's tyre model or whatever, but... If I can get into the 33s, that's a miracle. And anything faster than that is just me pulling something absolutely out of the bag. But we do have uh, we do have a flow. We've got braking points that mean that we're not going to crash, which is nice. And uh, judging by how the start of this race has gone, just surviving to the end is going to get us a decent haul of points. So onwards we go. Just tried to shift without uh, lifting. Then forget that it's not a proper sequential gearbox. Still just playing it really quite tentatively. I do not want to crash this car. They are quite, well, the kind of robust suspension wise I find. Um, quite delicate with the wings, although you do also see a lot of cars driving around wingless and doesn't really seem to affect them but I'd still rather keep four wheels on my wagon and all the wings where they're supposed to be. Shouldn't have shifted down to first then, and if I was gonna shift down to first, I should have blipped it as well. But even then, that, gear, that uh, corner's a second gear corner. I think I just sort of flinch shifted. Wasn't an intentional one by any uh, by any means. So it looks like we might have a little bit of pace on uh, on Simon ahead of us here. It looks like we're just reeling him in ever so slightly, even though our last lap times were pretty similar. Although if he's going to take a hairpin like that, he's going to lose a lot of time. We had to take a tighter line because there was a Simon part on the. Uh, on the sort of the outside clipping point. Press cross with him, so we've got the inside for the corner. Looks like he's pretty much letting us go, to be honest. Don't know if he's got any uh, any damage, to be fair. Going to break early being on the inside. He's not particularly let us go there, but we've got a back marker out of the pits as well. Stay behind him for now then. Felt like I drove that first corner absolutely like Miss Daisy then. <laughs> Felt like I could have walked fast around it. But, uh, Simon potentially starting to feel some pressure then, making a few mistakes. He is punching to be fair at a 1.3 rating. Doing a good job. Make sure we remember to brake. Need to watch out for Jeff behind as well, I reckon uh, just got a feeling Jeff's going to have some pace and maybe we'll start reeling us in. Another funky line by Simon, or funky in my opinion, who am I to say what the right line is through there? Definitely uh, closed in on him though, that's for sure. Right Still there. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Clear. Alright, got him cleared this time. Thanks, Jeff. Bad news for us that Jeff's let uh, let Mark go. Fairly sure Mark is going to be fast. It was Mark that was behind us off the finish, uh, off the start line. There's also Mark that didn't <laughs> didn't set off from the start line, but not to worry. There, there's been a, an incident of some sort behind us. They've dropped back massively. They were at about a second, and are now down to three seconds. So more breathing space for me. Miss Daisy can just take a time even more. Get that apex nailed, thanks very much. 
Mark been setting 33 two nines when he was behind there as well, two two nines. Although we have had a, uh, a 33 of our own. Just a tenth down on Mark's fastest. So we'll see. Bit of a, uh, a fastest lap off between me and Mark till the end now. Delta says that was a decent run through the hairpin. We'll take that. Keep watching those lap times as we go. It's running out of laps to do it to be fair as well, so we're about to set a 33-2-ish. Which is finally a, a fastest lap. Mark also sets, oh he sets a 33 flat, that's a nice lap time. If he's only taken two tenths a lap, then he's not got enough laps to do it. He's Good news for me, keeps the confidence high. Max sniffing us now, two laps to go. We're going to be on a 33.4 ish, or a high 33.3. What does Mark give us? A 32.5. Wowee. There's some smoke ahead. There's not a car stopped on the right, he's told me fibs. It's like the front runners have had a bit of a tangle. Now it's getting very busy. Matthew is all swirly. I'm not surprised he's squirrely, I've just seen the state of his suspension. At least we're in the toe as well now though. Like P2 pulled pulled over to let P3 by. No, that's three and four, isn't it? For P5. I don't know if he's damaged or if he's just redressing potential contact. That toe is really helping pull us away from Mark just a little bit, or at least maintain the gap. Wonder if he's been picking up the toe from us longer than uh, longer than what I realised. We're around on to final lap then, one second to Mark, who's got some smoke coming out of the back of his car, I'm not sure if he's just had contact or what's going on there. Smoking like one of the uh, Formula V's do when they uh, spend a downshift, isn't it? Mark, I'll roll out of it and let you pass. Thank you, man. Alright, breaking it a little bit early to roll it in there, Thanks, make sure we get that apex. No worries, go get him. I've been trying. Mark says he's been trying, he's been doing a blooming good job to be honest. It's like Luca Head's got some damage on his car, it's a bit sketchy. Broke a little bit early for that corner, but not bothered. Wanted to make sure I got it turned in and back on the power as soon as we could. The last sort of overtaking opportunity coming up. Didn't get the best run through that corner there, onto the straight. But we're getting a little bit of tow from Luke. Don't think uh, Mark's going to be close enough. Really close at the end here though. It's put a lot of time into us through this race. So I've been uh, not thinking too positively of it in my mind and whatnot. Maybe even talking down to some people, but I've actually really enjoyed driving this skip here today. I'm going to come home with a P5. As we cross the line, we're hold on. What a chase, Mark. Nice job. Thank you, Dom. Enjoyed that. Well done. Nice. All right, we're back for round two in the skippy at Long Beach. Five before this time. Just messed about with my anti roll bar settings in practice and gained uh, about half a second, maybe four tenths on our pace. But let's see if that translates into the race as well now. 
Lots of familiar names again here from uh, from last race. Anyway, here we go then. Red lights are on. Green, green, green. And away we go. Fairly even start by everyone. I think uh, loop behind. Is it loop behind? Whoever's behind in P5. Slightly better jump than I did. Can't capitalise on it. And now we start the slipstreaming straight away. Gonna break nice and early. Bit of a bottleneck, leaving space on the inside there. Oh, oh, we've been done by behind. Nice. Like racing with people that don't understand the bottleneck. And we've been hit again and again. Wow. Wow. Yep, yeah, we're not going anywhere. Nice one. Car on your left, clear. You got a slow car on the left, car stop on the left, go right. <laughs> Here we go for race three. Back right from the back, a very strong strength of field. Green, green, green. All right, let's see if we can survive. We'll take it nice and easy in the first corner. Avoid any carnage that potentially about to unfold. Realistically, the only way we'll make positions in this race is from uh, from people crashing from freebies. Which hasn't happened in turn one. The fountain. Also, clean through the fountain. I don't know if I've ever seen that in an uh, i racing event around the circuit. We've got one in the wall though. Still got to uh, consider the fact that we're on quite cold tyres here. Make it nice and steady. I was breaking way too late. Just about survived the first lap then. Made up a few positions through freebies, so I think we're P12 now. Go for a high rating loss of 44, but hopefully a uh, safety rating gain. It's basically just gonna have to be a safety rating uh, race, I feel. You got a lot of locked, right. locked tires there. Another couple of freebies. Clear on the left. Imagine that must have been some uh, nose to tail contact there with all the blocked brakes and the car going straight on. Straight away, Alan behind's looking very racy though. Sniffing around.
if we go deep. Slot back in. Don't need him pestering us through the rest of the race. Always going to make his way back through anyway. That's P11 then. A bit wide for Jonathan there. I don't know if he uh, got as far as tagging the wall, but it's certainly pretty high and wide. That can be a gap for us here. Of space away from potential chaos. Nothing gives Alan room. I don't think he was particularly letting us, us have as much room there. You sort of, uh, sort of learn who you're racing in events like this, you know. Now we are back behind Jonathan. Let's see if we can uh, make some progress, see if we can actually put an overtake on someone. Too wide through the fountain. Stay on the left. Didn't expect that to end too well, but give each other space. We're slow for it. The draft around here, just down the, uh, the pit straight, especially, is just so strong. Just really trying to get on the power as soon as I can, maximise those exits. Good news for us as one goes into the pits, that's another position. drive straight into a wall. These cars are pretty tough, I'm not sure if it's uh, going to have withstood that. Everything seems to be feeling alright, steering's still straight and everything. Just wouldn't be for any suspension damage there. And into a yellow flag zone. There's another freebie. That was Carson out of P4, I think that was. like Alan's hit a wall, his car's not tracking straight by the looks of it, his front left wheel looks very, very sad. Oh no, Mr. Simple Sim Guy, Patrick Artericki, dead in the wall. I'm chatting to Patrick on Discord, he, uh, I think he had a similar race like that, I think it was last night. He uh, sadly made contact with the wall, and that's probably going to put Peter, sleepy cat racing, P3 on the standings right now, into uh, P2. Taking a different line to Jonathan there, see if it can gain us any time, and it's put us up on our delta, that's for sure. Very close to contact though, so a bit of a risky line to take when I am following him. I'm just that Yannick is starting to come behind here, so might have to uh, make the move. It's going to be late. Fighting it, we're fighting it, we're fighting it, and we'll get away with it. That was a <laughs> very dodgy overtake. We got first when we didn't want it, and it just kicked the back end around. Definitely not our cleanest move, especially around this track, but got the job done. I wanted to get past Jonathan before Yannick got too much closer. Basically, we're going to roll over for Yannick. I uh, don't have the 32 pace that he's been throwing around, even with a toe. Too much time there. Guys ahead are starting to get nice and feisty, so maybe a chance 
for one more freebie before the end. Only got a few laps left, three laps. We have, we've got a freebie. Good fighting with Barrett and, uh, and Alan. Alright, final corner, final time, race three. We are going to get a little bit of rating out of it. Seriously outranked, mostly outpaced. A P7 across the line. Alright, race number three. We've uh, qualified on pole. Okay, here we go at the lights. Green flag, green flag. Very short hold for us there. Right side. Run down to turn one then. P2 has already got to, got to the outside of me. Still there. Take it nice and steady. Keep to the left. Still there. Drops in behind, that was good of him. I didn't think he was going to do. But we're going to go hell for leather all the way through the first lap side by side. Need to remember on cold tyres. Look after them. Alright, decent start though off the line. It'll be all about apexes down this, uh, around this tight circuit here. Already pulling away from, uh, from P3. Oh no! Everybody, I'm so sorry, but I didn't hit you. Play car ahead. <sighs> All right, there's work to be done. Mission to get back into the uh, positive I rating points. Again, the back end wanted to step around. Again, it was a risky move to take the uh, tighter line there, but it's definitely got us a better toe. In behind Bernard here. You got a slow car on the right. Car right. Clear. Alright, made that move. I took my eyes peeled then for that supposed slow car on the right, but there was none.
Oh, oh wow, oh, they've just crashed in a straight line. I do love to see a good crash in a straight line. That should definitely be a thing. And now with his broken car, he's defending. Oh, it was going deep. He did go deep. Too deep. And take a wider line to get a better run. Worked well. Still not quite clear of him though. Keep to the right. He's never going to be able to go around the outside there, you see what happens. Just lose the back end and hit that wall. It goes really deep and wide. Not going to get him on this corner, but uh, his line's going to be compromised. See if we can get a better run. Can get a better run. We're alongside at least. Are we going to get clear before the corner? Just about gives it to us. Again, there's not a lot you can do there. Corner is off camber, so if he tries to stick it out around the outside, he's either just going to spin or understeer into the wall. He clutch the wall again for good measure. across to break the toe but we've got a massive overrun on him after we so slow out the uh, last corner with that wall tap right side. wasn't quite sure he was going to leave a uh, leave the car's width after all that but he did has he gone deep nope he's kept the corner well don't want to risk it too much See him starting to overdrive, it is uh, getting a bit loose and hairy. Missing apexes. So if this was me right now, I'd just, you know, just sort of roll over, let it go. Accept that it's not going to happen, but he's going to keep us going. Hopefully the exit out of this corner. No, his character speed well to say he's just gone so wide. Maybe down this straight, the old little cutback we've been doing on so many people. Oh, I was so sure we were going to contact then. We did get a 0x for it. Just about got away with it though, I think. Right, now to see if we can catch up to Jimmy. I'll just take a slightly wider line through the hairpin that time, see if it can give us a better run down the straight. I mean, we're not in overtaking range for Ian, but he's just, uh, he's just sitting there, you know. He's just close enough to be a nuisance. It's gaining very quickly though. That was late and uh, a bit desperate. Needed compliance. I won't be that kind next time. I didn't think it was going to be close enough. Got past and now it's slowing us down massively. I'll just sit behind him for a bit to be honest. See if we can keep that pressure on for well that'd be four laps at the line. We've already seen him make a mistake and hit the barriers once, so uh, maybe next time that happens it'll be a hard damage. <laughs> We'll get the run on the hairpin, but uh, just lets him know we're there again.
Pulls over and lets us go. I think he got a slow down penalty on the inside of that curb there. I've had that happen before. Alright, need to try and bridge a gap as soon as we can. Run into the uh, second to last lap as we cross the line this time. So I need to make sure on the final lap that he's not in slipstream range. Might need to replicate some of that defending fresh air, at least just to break the toe. It did seem to make a massive difference, his toe when he was behind me versus when I was behind him. He's now got uh, company behind him harassing him as well. Saw a big flash of orange in my mirrors there and thought he was going for it. I think he thought he was as well, but it was never on. Got close with that uh, couple of mistakes that I just made. Need a nice run through this corner. Break the toe again. Let's hit the wall. It's literally just... <laughs> Pull straight across and hit the wall. That is not ideal. Good race, guys. Good race. Oh, God, I've gone well wide. Oh, and there's contact behind. It all ends in tears behind us. Shame for their race to end like that. But that is P7. Oh dear me. P7 across the line from a pole position. Surprised the uh, crew chief's not got some smart comment for us to say with that. Alright, race number, is it five that we're on to now? Race number five, I think. Just made a right beans up of it in qualifying. Hit the wall on both my laps. Green flag, green flag. A really short hold that time, wow. Alright, freebie off the line. Yeah, absolutely uh, made a mess of it in qualifying just there. Hit the wall on my first flying lap. And then second lap I fully spun, so... We uh, didn't set a proper lap time. Whoa, he came in close in the end. He's going to stick his nose in, thankfully thinks better of it. And we'll get through the fountain. We can. Alright. This is probably the, uh, the most reasonable split we've been in all day, to be fair. Is, uh, I think we're split into four races this time, so closest to people we should actually be racing. Connor, rather than being mate. massively outranked or smurfing like we were in the last race, even though we spun anyway. Yeah, you're blinking pretty bad, Connor. Decent run on the number six coming through that corner there. I was keeping pace, obviously, with the guys that were 2k and upwards, so... Um, sort of hoping that maybe I might have, might have the pace. I have the pace on these guys in this split at least, we'll see. To fourth is that now, I thought it was third. I know P, P1's miles away already. There goes another one, we get a 4x, hopefully that was just net code and we're not damaged. Ah, oh, I couldn't get it steered anymore, I understeered into him. <laughs> I thought his trajectory was going to carry on outwards but it didn't really. A bit of a bottleneck behind us. Looks like we've got top end power so I just need to get on the back of Tommy now and Try and pull away at the front with these guys. I do not want to be uh, sucked back into the melee behind. Mateus inside a second window now. Don't need to feel the pressure, this is pretty inevitable.
Thankfully he waits until the straight to do it. Alright, let him back in. Plenty of room. Now let's see if I can use his toe to pull us up towards the front there. Looks like he's got suspension damage and he's still that fast. Many time. Oh, he's just crashed into the hairpin after all that. Alright, coming on to the last lap then. Let's keep on setting that purple final sector, but it's not enough. Three seconds now, the gap to Mateus. Maybe what far too cautious after he got past us there, but just seemed like he was inches away from a crash every single moment. You just can't race people in the city no more. People just don't know how to race them. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody like that in uh, in the top couple of clips in a long time. Oh, I don't believe it. One of the leaders. Oh, what an ending. We've got our P3 back. I really hope for their sake that wasn't contact. That would be such a sad way for such a, uh, a long battle space, to end. Took advantage of it, and the lap after, I literally went up the inside and he just drove into the side of me. We're going to get an absolute yeah, blessing as we cross the yeah, line there. Is that P3? Why is it not updating? It is P3. Oh, that's such a shame. Such a shame for these guys. I don't know. Uh, obviously, don't know what happened in the. Final corner there. All right, what's this sixth race of the day? We've been massively uh, out irated again in the split. 16 car messed up in qualifying again. Waiting for the lots. There we go then, green flag. And it pulls over and then looks back out again. Oh, the slipstream is so crazy effective down this track. On the straight here. Let's give ourselves a little bit of room before the carnage ensues ahead of us. I like to think at these ratings these guys are pretty well behaved, but you never really know. Bit of smoke ahead. Oh, Joel's been put in a wall. Managed to get past him, that was fortunate. Uh, sounds like one's gone round. Heavy on the brakes, had to brake later than I felt comfortable with really, but didn't want to go all to ram into the back of us. Oh god, there's a car gone round. We were lucky there, really lucky. Apparently got a zero X contact for it, but still alive somehow. Now hang it round the outside. I'll let Joel slot in here. We're holding a car that's running on ice, ice tyres. So hard. All right. So across the line first time, P11. It was Hunter that was behind us, not Joel. I wonder what happened to Joel there. All right, so I think the last three races, three or four races in a row, we've ended up with some net code damage on the car, which has slowed us down for the rest of the race. So hope that's not happened again here today. And uh, here today, it's all been today. Here in this race, at least. It's Hunter... Uh, Bashes the wall a few times. And it gets really sideways. We get really sideways as well. Lost a lot of momentum there. Really lost a lot of momentum. That was not an ideal, uh, what is it, like third corner there? Maybe fourth corner. Ah, oh, there's the wall again. 
little touch, normally the cars can survive it, but it's not going to help our straight line speed. Dude, really? Why? Why? Damage, mate. I'm trying to get out of your bike. Fuck this shit. All right, we've been here a few times before. I reckon Hunter's about to drive away into the sunset. They're getting to 33 as that last lap, but these guys are sitting 33s just for fun, so... I'll have to see how we get on here. Really desperate to try and hold on to these guys in front of us. Bound to be carnage. I want to try and capitalize on it, get the positions. These guys in the top split race, way too hard to be letting any quarter slide. I'm tracked for a 3 3 dead at the minute, but it's still not enough to keep Hunter in our sights. Although the pack ahead have caught someone else that looks to be slowing them down just a smidge. Potentially a car with damage. It's Hunter clips the wall on the exit there. Alright, 33 1 for us. What are the other guys doing? Similar times. And for Joel behind, 33 2. So. Pulled a little bit of a gap on him, not massive though. Not really going to be enough to build a buffer with. I to break longer and steadier into that corner, make sure I really get to the apex. Seemed to work well in that respect. A little bit slower than a previous best lap though. Absolutely clutching, clinging onto uh, Hunter's toe ahead of us. Need that toe to keep the lap times, and if we lose it, we'll be really susceptible to Joel behind us. Alright, Carson ahead's been overtaken by Hunter. It was Carson that was slowing them down, I think. Need to try and capitalise and get onto this train as soon as I can, really. Otherwise, they're just going to drive off into the sunset. We know how it goes. And stay inside a second. I should just about keep that toe. Anything more than that, I'll be struggling. Is already past a second there. Close up a bit through the first corner though. You got a slow car on the left. Car stop on the left. Slow car on the left. That must be for position. There's no one else ahead of us. Looks to have got going again. Potentially Tiago. See as the relative updates. Staying to the side, so must be damaged. Need to make sure we didn't get distracted by them and uh, make a mistake. It was Zachary, Zach. All right, sniffing at the slipstream ahead of us here.
like I had a slightly better line than Carson through that final corner. As long as he keeps the draft. And if I can get his draft, then we'll all just tow each other along nicely. You're in the top ten. A little bit of a slower lap for me that time around. Even slower for Joel behind, which is nice. I think he lost quite a bit of time with that uh, damaged car. Guys ahead are all getting bottlenecked up in that first corner. Obviously, they can't really use your normal braking zone, otherwise, there's a chance you're going to hit the guy in front. These guys racing way too respectably to uh, want that to happen. Still just about sniffing Carson's draft. Sounds like some weird pervert behaviour. Oh, I'm going to sniff your draft. Oh god, I nearly hit the wall then. It's going to slow me up down the straight here. Again, almost out of draft range, but as the guys have to bottleneck up through the corners, I should just be able to latch back on again. The leech just hanging around. like P6 is slow there as well, that is Tiago. And he's blinking for good measure. Start to get dropped by them. Ten laps still to go. Not good news. Fortunately for me, they're starting to go side by side. That'll slow them down. A bit wide through that corner, but keep the power down. Just try and power through around the long line. And has been put back behind Carson now. Just going to keep on battling by the looks of it. Got a yellow flag ahead of us, what's going on here? Trying to feather it around the corner till we come across this car. Just rejoins on this contact. Terrible rejoin from Whack in there. All right, the lack of a strip slipstream there is uh, putting the pressure cost him. On me. Not sure what happened. We'll look at it back. My only hope right now is that uh, fucking behind us is damaged. I I recognise the name from one of Patrick's videos. Pretty sure he's a super fast guy. We've got sniffing our exhaust now. I was able to pull past him in a straight line, I know I got a bit of a better run. Hey, you were Get another really one. Got another one we got past there. Was that the position? I think it was. Alright, hanging with the big boys. I'm going, I'm going absolutely flat out, as fast as I can go. Yeah, but you're still the draw still, but yeah, great. George had a slowdown, took a little pressure off me here. Alright, just listen to the guys chatting there then. So just less than a second to Carson ahead. We're promoted up into P8 as it stands, and fortunately we're pulling away from Wackham. This is more than we could have ever asked for out of this race to be honest. 
Not what I expected to happen. That's both times in the top split today. It's uh, expected to be last and as it stands managing to get something out of it. Of course, more than anything, it's the uh, fast guys ahead taking themselves out, but hey, freebies be freebies. We don't complain how we get them. So I need to really try and keep the focus on now with these guys ahead. Make sure I stay close to them, keeping that draft. I don't think I've got the pace to get past them, but I just want to make sure that I can use their pace to pull me along. Protect me from attacks from behind. Joel is now at five seconds. I think he's our biggest, uh, sort of our, our rival for today's positions, if you like. I think uh, Joachim is going to slowly lose the draft and fall backwards and probably get overtaken by Joel. Alright, bit wide there from Hunter. Took a really funky line in. <laughs> I think it confused Carson a little bit and I ended up a bit tighter than I uh, than I intended at least. That really allowed Wackham to get back towards us. Seven laps to go. Half lap, half lap. Oh god, I got a sneeze coming. That's not ideal. We've even resorted to uh, flipping the throttle again on the downshifts. I just don't want the car to snap in any weird way that I'm not expecting or anything funky like that. Want to consolidate this position, wrap up what for me is a really good result. Just start to drop whack him again. Put the no weirdness through the final hairpin this time. So that it can catch back up. And that's one in the wall. That's really going to allow Quack in there. You got a slow car on the left. Go right. Left side. Clear. We've been done. We've been absolutely done. What position has that put us? Clear. I don't believe it. I absolutely do not believe it. I think we've lost our front wing. I think out of all that we've only actually lost one, one position from where we were. We were P8 before, weren't we? Now we're P9. Oh, we have got no handling whatsoever. I don't know if we've got any wings left on the car, to be honest. As Patrick hits the wall again in front of us. Oh, look at the gap behind us, though. Wow. Thought the race was going a bit too uh, eventless. It's going to be even more salt that uh, Patrick's probably about to drive away into the distance as well leave us with our damaged broken car where's the shadow i want to see a see a shadow of what the car looks like if it's actually got any wings left on it <laughs> we're actually still due for a pretty decent lap time out of all that somehow i don't really know what's happened but to be in the 33s is still quite a big achievement i'd say Five 
five laps to hold on. We've got a 30 second gap to pull behind us. Sitting P9 at the minute. We need 14 I rating to get the 2K. I am absolutely salty that Patrick has got the pace on us. I can see how bent his rear wing is. I can only imagine what my car looks like if he's pulling away. Unbelievable. Mr. Van der Nord will be uh, laughing in his race seat as we come into these closing stages. But he can't believe what he's just come across there. He managed to get through completely unscathed, I think. I don't think he even had to slow down for it. So we had Joel behind us, didn't we? And Joel's now P6. Peter up to P7. So we should, in theory, have been P5, but can't dodge the wrecks then. You're not going to get the rewards. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> just playing it back in my head now, I definitely just went for a gap that wasn't there and I just tried to, <laughs> just tried to snow plow through it. It didn't work, surprise, surprise. Unbelievable. Stupid stuff like that that makes that corner, therefore this track as a whole, just so dumb, like, just can't get a car around each other there. Someone has an issue then, anyone coming behind is just gonna, I'm piling into it. Alright, well. I'm not going to catch Patrick, but I want to try and keep some pressure on him if possible, see if we can force another mistake. Obviously, we're ping-ponging off the walls after we uh, first got moving again. Alright, I've gone pretty quiet, just trying to concentrate, trying to focus on the task at hand. The car is a little bit twisted. It's not pulling at top speed like we want it to. Somehow still setting 33 lap times, I really don't know how that's possible. We must have zero downforce on this car to be able to still pull top end speed. What an unbelievable, well it was not even the end of the race, we're closing towards the end now, but what an unbelievable middle of the race there. Play for keeps here in the top flight. I'll uh, be interested to have a look at the replay and see what actually caused all of that. I mean, I didn't have anywhere else to go, I just, I hoped that gap would open up and it just never did, so, so be it. Sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you get nailed. Patrick ahead, still able to lap in the 32, is a full second faster than I am. Two laps to go. I feel like this is sort of a, a finale befitting of today's endeavours. This week's endeavours, to be honest, first started off by in this little climbing mission in the Formula 3s, and that was, well, you saw the first race, in fact, it was a decent race, P5 I think it was, wasn't it? And then from that point it was one step forward, two steps back. Didn't have the pace in the skippy as we jumped into practice, but... Had a look at some races, or some race pace at least, and thought, nah, let's give it a go. Messed about with the anti-roll bar setting a little bit, because that was too low. And, uh, it was the qualifying pace I was most concerned about, but... I'm surprised, I didn't remember last time I drove this, how much difference it made, um, taking all the fuel out ready for qualifying. So once I took the quali out and did a sorry, once I took the fuel out and did a couple of quali runs and uh, saw that we had a little bit of pace, jumped on into the races and well you've <laughs> you've seen them all, including the uh, was it the second race earlier? Punted. I think with this race and the last race, it's probably been uh, actually a safety rating decrease. I know the last race was a was a decrease. 
I think that was a, uh, I think that was a 4x. So probably going to lose a little bit more safety rating again. But we didn't come here for safety rating. As we start the final lap, Peter's even managed to get past Joel. Nice job. I think it'll be pretty disrespectful if uh, no one puts it in the wall on the final lap. I'm uh, not sure what that's all about. To be fair, I think even if someone does, we've, <laughs> we're not close enough to anyone to actually make make anything out of it. Kiss the wall again, just for good measure. Kiss it goodbye for the season. Say, Long Beach, as always, you've been an absolute thorn in everyone's side, but we wouldn't change you for the world. Except maybe that final hairpin, I'd change that. Click of a finger. Without a second thought. Alright, I don't think we're even going to catch Gene for the lapper. Nice race, George. The aliens at the front congratulate each other on the two person race. Around the final hairpin, final time for the season with a plus 23 in the I rating. If I can count to 14, that's a 2k. <laughs> oh dear me, what a struggle that's been today! What a slog. It made me nervous to race at all next season. Maybe I'll just do AI racing from now on. All right, here we go then. Moment of truth. Practice event. Waiting for it. Some water. I'm arched after that. Yep. <laughs> Claiming it. It happened. <laughs> We're taking that all the way to the bank. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, what a slug that was. Um, <laughs> congratulations if you made it this far. Um, I'd like to think the races, in their own way, were, were each of them were interesting sort of thing, and I um, I chopped out the boring laps where I was just slowly getting dropped by guys ahead of me and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we we did it, we made it, we got the 2k. I um, Realistically, I think we can probably all agree that I'm probably not a, a 2k I-rating driver. Um, as it stands, I'm probably more like a, a 1.8 consistent, so I do expect to probably lose it quite early on next season, but it was nice at least to tick off another arbitrary number and say, oh yep, we made it, we got the 2k. <laughs> Uh, massive thanks if you uh, made it all the way through the video and um, don't forget if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up it really helps the channel out and consider subscribing if you're new here and you've not done that already other than that take it easy and look after yourselves and i'll catch you in the next one